All right, check this out. This is like a survey. Did you enjoy making the flashlight? And the blue is yes. That's like 59%. And red is no, which is nowhere. And then uh, yellow is like, at first I hated it, but then I enjoy the process. 10% said I liked it at first, but then I hated it at the end. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm Mr. G. How's it going? This is your one minute video. All right, check it out. This is a class survey. It's anonymous. I wanted to give you an overview of what my students thought of the design process for the flashlight project. So if you scroll down, here you go. Have you ever made a flashlight before? Overwhelmingly, no. That's 98, 99% or 98%. Okay, did you make a, uh, a battery from pennies or did you buy it from a store? During their project, they had the option of making it from pennies or from a store. And let's see, uh, most of them, let's see, bought the battery from the store. The, the blue is I made it from pennies and the, the yellow is I bought it from, I, I bought, I brought the batteries from home, okay? All right, let's see. Now, next here. Why did you choose to make a penny battery, okay? So, like, if they made the choice, you know, they didn't have to buy the battery. They could have made it. Uh, most of them didn't, and if they did, they wanted to save the money, or uh, I, wanted a I wanted a challenge, or, let's see, I tried to make the penny battery at first, but then I had to buy it. Okay, next. If you bought the battery, what type of battery did you use? So this is interesting, right? So you have uh, AA, AAA, watch battery, button batteries, recycled, or I bought, I made my own. So let's see. So we have uh, AA is uh, almost 25%. AAA is a small percentage. Uh, watch battery is about 22%. The button battery is uh, uh, green, almost 25, around 25%, recycled it, and didn't do it. Okay, uh, let's see. Did you buy or make your own switch? Overwhelmingly, they bought their own switches. Some people modified it, some people recycle it, and some people made their own. Most people bought the switch. Okay, you can buy a switch at the hardware store for like a dollar. Okay. Did your flashlight survive the five foot drop? Yes, 77%. Okay, um, how much did your flashlight weigh after the drop? Okay, and let's see, uh, over here, 100 grams, 100, sorry, it's hard to read this chart, let's see. Um, okay, so it's all over the place, so you have you have one, you have uh, 10 grams, 10, 100 grams, 105 grams, 106 grams. It's all over the place. Most people fell in like the 100 to 25 grams. Above that, max was about 250 or 225. But the lowest was seven, second place was eight, and third place was 10 grams with this scale right here, okay? So let's keep going, let's take a look. All right, what material do you use for your container? That's what goes around it. Cardboard, plastic, foam, wood, paper, and glasses case. Oh, okay, that's a write-in. All right, let's see. How did you put together your box or container? Hot glue, tape, heat, or nothing. Okay, they just press it together. All right, how did you attach your circuit to your box container? So hot glue, tape, heat, press fit, clip, nothing, and I made holes in the box where, and I put it in. Okay, uh, did you work on your project at home or at school? Uh, green, both, I worked on it at home and at school. Okay, that's 71%. Did you have, this is, by the way, this is out of 49 people. Did you have any parts that failed during the five foot drop? No, it worked. Did your battery die? Let's see. Loose wires and switch malfunction. Okay. Did you or anyone you know doubt your ability to make the flashlight? Here's where it gets like into psychology, you know, like th this is like a challenge, you know? Okay. 
So did you or anyone you know uh, doubt? Mr. G doubted me. I didn't, but I probably joked with them. Hey, you're not going to make it or something like that. But I, I always encourage students, but I do joke around with them. Seven people said that. My family doubted me. That's two people. Uh, my friends doubted me. Eight people had that happen to them. I doubted myself. Whoa. That's the most. 26 people doubted whether they could do this. And then no one doubted me. That's 17 people. Okay. Why did you finish? What was your inspiration? Okay. So to prove people wrong, 13 people. It was fun. That's the majority. Uh, I did it for a grade, 25 people. And prove it to myself, 28 people. And I did it for Mr. G. Now, obviously, this adds up to more than 49 people. But you can click on multiple answers because there are multiple answers. Okay. And scrolling down, next. Uh, how many times did, did you modify or remake your flashlight? Okay, uh, let's see. One was about 14%. Two times, 20, around a little over 20%. Three times, about 14%. Uh, four times, I lost count was the majority. And six was a small percentage. Okay, are you part of STEAM Academy? That's... The after school program where we do stuff like this, but you uh, more time, about two hours after school, four days a week. And there's like four or five different teachers. Okay. Um, so half of the group is in STEAM. Yes, I'm in it. And then the, the other ones, no, or whatever. Okay. Uh, let's see. Would you recommend this project? Overwhelming, yes. 95.9% would recommend this project. That makes me feel good because I really try and choose and design the projects to be fun. I think what made it good was not so much the drop, but the competitive nature. So you take the flashlight, you make it work, that's one part, then you drop it on the floor, pick it up and check if it still works, and then the competition is you put it on the scale, the gram scale, and you have to see how much it weighs so it's competitive. And I think that's the most exciting part. So they, they loved it, you know. There's only, let's see, how many people? Uh, two people said they did not enjoy it, okay? So that's really, that's fine because maybe something else is going on. Okay, what modifications were made to lighten the weight of the flashlight? Okay, so what they did was they put holes. Some people put smaller wires, small battery, lighter container, smaller switch, remove excess material, Windows, like little holes, cut in half, remove switch, made my own switch. And the majority was remove excess material. Okay, that's 30 people. All right, what was your biggest struggle? Uh, biggest struggle was, let's see, battery, uh, uh, switch, wires, and then it kind of tapers off from there. Okay, let's see. Did someone in your family take notice and who? Right here, let's see. My dad, most, 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 my parents, mother, mom, parents, my parents and little sister, no one. <laughs> yes, my parents, parents, okay, and then it just goes through here. Yes, my mom, it's all the same. You know, someone noticed. Okay, did your family ever do this project before? No, no one's ever done it except 8% said four people, four family members did it. So that's very low percentage. So this is all new. This is a new project. No one's done this before. So it's very exciting and it's challenging. Okay. On a scale of one to 10, how difficult was this project? And I had to quantify 10 being writing a three page essay in a night or completing a science fair project in an hour. And then one being tying your shoes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you know, one is tying your shoes and 10 being like, I had to write a, a three page essay in one night. That's like a max. So one to 10, here's the score. Okay. Um, let's see. Somebody said one. Uh, let's see. Uh, two people said a number seven. Three people said a number six, eight, five, or actually, oh, uh, that's a, that would be a nine. So there was six people that said it was a nine. Not sure the difference between these two, but anyway, it's, it's, it's an arc. 
Uh, I guess people, it was all over the map. Some people felt it was diff Majority is a difficult, is over a five. Okay, did you choose this class? So here's where I get into like, how did they even get here? How did they choose this class? Did they know about this? Uh, is this what they wanted to do? Or is this something that they did later, you know? Um, so here we go. Uh, did you choose this class? Uh, let's see. Mo most people said, yes, I always wanted to take this class. Uh, and one people, and then uh, nine people said, uh, my guidance counselor put me there. Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm part of the STEAM Academy. That's 17 people. That's a lot of people. Um, no, my guidance counselor put me in. I never even knew about it, you know. But most people, let's see, always wanted to take this class. Okay. Uh, which of the following tools and equipment have you used before? Most people have used a drill press before. Other than that, we have a hacksaw and none. So it's a very low percentage here of people, but hopefully we'll change that. Okay, so uh, let's see. Which lesson or skill do you expect to learn in this class? Welding, soldering, improve out-of-the-box thinking, expect to get an idea of what engineering is, how to write, uh, oh, how to wire switches, no idea, ability to evaluate uh, a problem and find a solution. So there's a lot of stuff here. Some people, you know, penny battery, life, uh, let's see, failures and move forward, uh, anything. You know, it's just, it's all over the place. That's fine, good, lots of curiosity. Okay, what mo motivates you to work on a class project? Okay, so overwhelming, I like building projects. People like doing stuff, you know, you know, students love this stuff, you know, it's great. It's a lot of fun, it's intuitive, you get to build stuff and, and you get to make it yourself, okay? So, uh, let's see, I love working on projects. Uh, let's see, uh, grades, motivated by grades, 15 count. And the rest of them were kind of small percentage. What science classes are you in? Most people are in chemistry right now or uh, anatomy. Uh, what... Uh, did you have an idea of a project you wanted to make in Mr. G's class? What projects would you want to make? Uh, no, maybe some sort of some sort of car, some time of some sort of engine, I guess, repairing a chair. Uh, let's see, engineering now is no idea. Um, this is sort of personal. I want to make a nightstick as part of uh, fighting games? All right, we don't do weapons in the class. Uh, let's see, similar to a flashlight. Okay, so, you know, there's a lot of different stuff. Toy cars, whatever. Okay. What year of high school are you in? Most, oh, actually, we got juniors and we got sophomores. A few seniors. Uh, besides Mr. G, who's your favorite teacher? I'll just leave that out because that's a personal thing. Uh, do you think that you will, actually, it's all anonymous, so let's just do it. Uh, two count for I don't know. Two count for Kornitzer. Two count for Stark. Two count for, it's hard to get the, Goikache, Goikache, so that's four. Nice. Uh, do you think you will be a teacher one day? Now, this is a funny question. Do you think you'll be a teacher? Most surveys in the past, and not my first survey uh, with students, surveys in the past, most people say no. But this has changed. I think they had a lot of fun, and they could see that I have fun with the process, so maybe it's interesting. Uh, let's take a look. So you have... Do you think you'll be a teacher one day? Maybe. That's a big improvement. And no. <laughs> okay. They don't want to be a teacher. Uh, understandable. Uh, have you read the, bl uh, the, the blog, uh, the project's blog made by students from the class? No. I didn't read them and didn't even know the ex that they made them. And let's see, what's this one? Yes. They're a great way to learn from other students. So... The students make blogs, and then even if you graduate, you know, or the students graduate, the younger students can read the student the blogs of the alumni. So it's a great way to keep the. It's a community, and I want to keep that. So I encourage people. It's actually part of your grade. You have to write about your project. Okay. But so far, only uh, a small percentage are benefiting. Ten. So we'll try and up that. Uh, okay. So uh, wh which equipment do you feel safe to use? Okay, well, so this is the beginning of the year, so they haven't even used this stuff yet. So that doesn't really count. Uh, have you seen others 
another student, uh, uh, let's see, another student's projects. Which of the, which are your favorite? So everybody seems to like the none. They didn't see any yet. And uh, let's see, what's this? Oh, the penny battery. Okay, so, you know, they're new. You gotta understand, this is September, October, and now I'm looking at it in November. So it's really the beginning. We're not even at Thanksgiving yet. Okay, let's see. Did another student recommend this course to you? Did another student recommend it? Okay, no, this class was not recommended by another student. No, it was recommended by a teacher. And yes, another student. So nine people are here out of 49 because of another student. The rest was either a teacher or it must have been like a guidance counselor or something. Okay, uh, did you consider a career in engineering or manufacturing before taking Mr. G's class? Uh, yes, about 50% said I always wanted to be in engineering. And then no, I never thought about it. And no, I did, didn't even know it was an option. Uh, no, but I didn't even, you know, but now I'm interested. So this was, the, the, the green is now I'm interested. This is, uh, yes, I always wanted to do that. And the red is, no, I never liked engineering or manufacturing. Okay, so majority is sort of a yes, and now I, I'm interested. Uh, okay, did you know there's an alumni association? No, I didn't know that. And the red is yes, I knew that, but I don't follow them. And the green is I, I, oh, it must be I did not know that. Uh, oh, I don't even know an alumni association. So I try and make sure that the young students are connecting with the alumni because it's a great career connection. Um, I'm not even sure they're aware there's an alumni association. So I try and make them aware of that. All right, that's basically it. That was my survey. Uh, but probably the most important part of the whole thing was, would you recommend this project to, um, to another student? And that was right here. Uh, would you recommend this project to, uh, to people outside the class? That's an overwhelming 95.9% .9 of 49 people said yes. I recommend this project to other people. I'm so glad, I'm trying my best. Any improvements you'd like me to make, please send it my way. Okay, I'm Mr. G, we're at Memorial High School, but we do offer this class outside of Memorial High School now. Please get in touch. Uh, Mr. G's workshop on Instagram, and my uh, email is ron.grossinger at gmail.com. Uh, those are ways to get in touch, touch with me, or you can go to my website, rongrossinger.com. It's Grossinger with one S. We lost the S at Ellis Island. I don't know. I'm just joking, but that's how they spell it. Okay, thanks a lot. See you later.